Over 25 years ago, the CEC Food Pantry began as a group of volunteers making sandwiches for the homeless and has grown today to encompass services for homeless families, women, and children fleeing domestic violence, seniors, and others in our community needing help with housing, food, job skills, and educational and financial goals. The Food Pantry is located at 6250 Northeast Loop 820 in North Richland Hills across from the Hills Church. Look for the white building with red awnings. Please use the third driveway to wind around to the back of the building where there is plenty of parking behind the food pantry. Leave all your belongings at home or lock them in your car. Please enter through the red door. When you enter through the red door, please continue around the corner to the volunteer area. We ask that all volunteers fill out a volunteer application and upon completion, return it to the completed volunteer application folder on the wall. For individuals interested in doing community service restitution, please come ready to provide paperwork that states offense, your timesheet from court, and dressed according to the volunteer guidelines. Look for the food pantry manager and sign in the notebook. In order to verify hours for school and community service, we require our volunteers to log in and out on our computer system. The instructions are attached to the computer. Or please sign in on our volunteer sign-in binder. After you have submitted your volunteer application, you're welcome to volunteer at any time. You can just show up. It might be wise, however, to check with the resource coordinator to make sure there are no groups scheduled at the same time that you'd like to volunteer. Sometimes it gets rather crowded with volunteers in the back of the food pantry and we wouldn't want anybody standing around feeling like they don't have anything to do. We value your time and are very thankful for your service. Please look on the volunteer board for the food pantry manager or the lead crew chiefs and crew. Their pictures are here to help you identify them and they can assign you the tasks needed at the time. If you can't find anyone, there is a bright orange sheet on the board with a list of volunteer tasks. Please be proactive to help in these ways. Please dress in closed-toed shoes and comfortable clothing that may get dirty. No flip-flops and no sandals, please. If it's cold outside, it may be cold in the food pantry, so bring a sweatshirt. We ask the volunteers do not eat the food in the food pantry. If you would like food assistance, please go to the Welcome Center between the hours of 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. Thank you. The volunteers can help in three different ways in the food pantry. Stocking, repackaging, and getting food for our neighbors are just a few ways you can help. When stocking items, please refer to the chart on the aisle to determine if the item is in acceptable condition. When distributing soup, the rule for cans is make sure that it is not metal to metal. These examples are okay to distribute. If there is a can on the shelf without a label, throw it away. But if there is a label nearby of the product, you can tape it on. Repackaging food can be done at any time of the day. Our repackaging room is back here. We are a licensed repackaging facility, which means that we can buy food in bulk and open it and repackage it and still distribute it to our families. Our food pantry manager buys food in large quantities so that we can break it down into smaller quantities and to give it to more of our families. Doesn't it make more sense to buy a 50 pound bag of rice and give it to 50 families rather than just one? The food is placed in bags weighed, and sealed for seconds. We label each bag with the necessary information and sometimes put a Bible verse. After all, we are a faith-based organization. We also repackage liquid, such as dishwashing soap, hand soap, bleach, 
and laundry detergent. The back sink in the warehouse is the best place for this. We carefully dispense the liquids. If they spill, please wipe them up immediately because they can make the floors very slippery. Then we label the bottle accordingly. Please wear gloves. If you have long hair, it also must be tied back. Neighbors will come to the CEC Welcome Center to get food Mondays through Fridays between the hours of 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. At this time, our neighbors will come to the lobby and meet with our staff to determine if there are any other services that the CEC can provide for them. In the meantime, the volunteers will take their grocery list and fill their orders back in the food pantry. Volunteers will then get a grocery list from the wall rack. Please remember to take the top order first. Then continue into the food pantry and take a cart fully stocked with bags to continue placing items into the grocery bags. At the top of the form, you will notice a person's name and the number of household members. If there are five or more people in the household, please supply them with a bigger can. Save the smaller cans for the smaller families. Also, please only supply them with the items that are checked. If there is an item that is not checked, they are not requesting that item, so do not bag it. When bagging groceries, please remember that some families live on the second story, so don't put any more than six cans in a bag at a time. You can also use lighter items as fillers in the bags. We wouldn't want the bags to rip as they're trying to walk upstairs. When you come across an item that's checked on the list but is no longer on the shelf, please skip that item. We do not substitute. After you finish completing the bagging for the first aisle of canned and box foods, continue on to the drink aisle, then on to the baby area, and continue on to the cereal and to the cookies and danishes on the shelf. After you've completed filling those items, then you can move on to the refrigerated section and the freezer. Sometimes families do not request baby items. You can skip this section. Please make sure you pay attention to all posted signage. When bagging refrigerated items, please keep all cold items bagged together. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would make sure that the refrigerator doors stay closed as they often pop open. Please wash for signage and be careful because sometimes the refrigerator leaks or there are spills close by. In the freezer section, please bag all frozen items together in the same bags. When you're bagging bread, please make sure it stays at the top of the grocery so it doesn't get crushed in the bottom of the bag or you can bag all of the bread together. Please be especially careful when bagging personal hygiene products and household cleaners not to put them with the regular food. You never want your bread to taste like Tide. You are welcome to use any of the bags located under the large stainless steel table located in the middle of the food pantry. Don't forget, there may be extra items that were added to give out to our families that are not included on the grocery list that day. You can check with the crew chief for these. There is a refrigerator here with cold waters for the volunteers. Please help yourself. And when you're finished with your water bottle, we would appreciate it if you put it in the bin above the refrigerator so we can recycle it and reuse it. In the back of the food pantry, you'll find the restrooms and the volunteer break room. Here, volunteers are invited to come in and rest or have their lunch here, you're able to put your refrigerated items in a refrigerator as long as they're labeled and you clean it out at the end of the day. When you're finished boxing the order, please roll it forward to the lobby. Call out the name that's on top of your grocery list. Mary? Hi, that's me. Hi. Can I see your license, please? Sure. Check the name and make sure the names match on the license and the top of the form. Thank you. And then offer assistance out to their car. Yeah, help to your car. Thank you. 
don't forget on the bottom of the form there's a place that the families can check whether they would like a big hug or a prayer. If you are not comfortable, you may ask a CEC staff member to assist you. Help the neighbors by carefully loading the groceries into their vehicle. And then return the cart to the food pantry. Don't forget to clock out at the end of your shift. Everyone at the CEC thanks you in advance for your service and would like to encourage you to return and volunteer at one of our events. Thanks for volunteering. Describe your experience volunteering in the food pantry. My experience here at CEC has been wonderful. The clients are amazing, it's very humbling, and I love it here. Um, describe a fulfilling experience you have had. I can tell you, it sticks out of my head now. Um, a lady come in and she didn't mark everything on her list. And so I took it upon myself when I took her groceries out to her to pull her to the side and ask her if she wanted this more stuff than what she had checked. And she said she did not want to be greedy. So it's days like that that make it even more special. Describe your experience with the staff. Oh my goodness, the staff is wonderful. They're funny, they're very loving, caring, very humble people. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Describe your experience volunteering in the food pantry. My experience with the Community Enrichment Center food pantry has been one of the most rewarding and invaluable experiences of my life. Um, and I plan on coming back many more times to help. Describe a fulfilling experience you have had. Helping, just helping people who are truly grateful for the service they re receive from the CEC. Describe your experience with the staff. The staff is so warm and inviting. Everyone's friendly. Uh, it's just a uh, a great camaraderie among the, the volunteers and the staff here. Thank you so much.